Good afternoon everybody. So in the last video I explained some grammar points and this lesson is an extension of it where I will uh, give some grammar tips for mastering the language. So we kick off with the first one, a participle phrase, a main clause. It's called also adjectival phrase. And what is a participle phrase? It is uh, a verb that ends in ed or in ing. And it does not have a doer here. It doesn't have a subject. And it is a verb that stopped being a verb and it becomes an adjective. As in this example, scared and confused, he picked up the box. So this is the adjectival phrase, scared and confused, there is no subject, comma, he picked up the box. So this participle phrase can be put actually in any position, in the middle as well. He, scared, comma, scared and confused, picked up the box. Or at the end, he picked up the box, scared and confused. And next is relative clauses which are introduced by relative pronouns like who, which, whom, where, when, etc. Mr. Shakiri, who lives next to us, is a generous person. The relative clause here is who, who lives next to us. And certainly this relative clause needs a comma because it is a non-defining relative clause. Because I know only one Mr. Shakiri, I don't know two or three or more, okay? And uh, it is just adding some extra information about uh, Mr. Shakiri. So if you are a sort of person who reads books, uh, you may notice that writers love using relative clauses. So please try to use them, uh, not too often, but do use them because they add extra level of details to your writing. Next, some blah 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 blah, others blah 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 blah. Uh, some cook with caution, others cook with their eyes closed. Uh, you can see that you got this repetition of some cook, others cook. It sounds really nice here. You are giving a good, a good contrast. And also there is this parallelism uh, preposition f phrase with caution, with the eyes closed, which make really the sentence uh, beautiful. Uh, also, you need a, a semicolon here because there is a list of a break and it shows uh, that there is a connection between these two sentences. There is also a nice trick that uh, writers use. It's where uh, writers like to repeat certain words. Uh, Example, Ali is strong, stronger than 10 men. So, as you can see, there is this repetition of strong, stronger, because the, the, the writer wants to focus, or wants to focus the reader on that word. Uh, let me just give you a quick, another example. He was, he was bored. Uh, mode of being bored, mode of being of being bored. Okay, he was bored, bored of being bored. So you can see the repetition of the word bored, and probably here the writer is feeling bored, and so is the sentence. The sentence also sounds really, really boring. The last structure it is the they and <clears throat> these two words they are considered uh, correlative conjunctions and they are words that join two clauses together but in two parts example the more you travel the more you learn okay the more you travel the more you learn well so uh, knowing these elements and some other more and having some grammar knowledge is really, really necessary for your writing, speaking and comprehension. So thank you for watching and see you all soon.